If your goal is to define and strengthen your arms, shoulders, and abs, you are in the right place because we have 30 minutes to do just that. This workout is also full standing, which means we will be up for all of our exercises today. So the only thing you need will be your dumbbells. And you're gonna wanna select a weight that is challenging throughout the entire set, but those last 10 to 15 seconds, two to three reps are very challenging. That's how you're gonna know you've gone heavy enough. So take the next few minutes with me to get warmed up and then we'll get right in to our workout. And we're gonna start arms straight out in front and we're gonna do little arm circles in. It is always important to just take a few minutes to get warmed up. That's gonna allow you to go super heavy right from the very beginning. So let's just take these couple of minutes together and we're gonna take it out now wider and we're gonna take it back. So let's take our big circles back now. Really working to get the shoulder joints warm because that's gonna be the first muscle group we start with today. Three more and then we're gonna take the arms straight up. Last one, arms straight up to the sky, palms facing away from you. We're gonna pull down here. So pull down, think about squeezing the shoulder blades and then back up. Exhale with the pull. Two more, here's two. Last one. Good, now arms are gonna come out, reach for your shoulders here, so bringing those fingers to your shoulders and we're gonna rotate. So twist, one side and then the other, taking your time. And from here, hands are just gonna come up to the back of your head and we're gonna add a knee pull. So bring those hands up, bringing that opposite knee to opposite elbow. Almost through the warm up. We're just gonna do cross, our arms cross body next. Three, here's two, and one. So open up and close the arms here. One arm comes on top and then the other arm. So we're just alternating one arm up and then the other. Almost there and then we're gonna get into our first exercise. So we have three sets today. Try to start out heavy if you need to lower the weight, you can always do that. But challenge yourself, this is only 30 minutes and we're gonna start with an Arnold press. So let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells for that. If you want to start your watch as well to track this workout, you can do that now. I'm gonna use the traditional strength training um, watch setting for this workout today. So let's grab our dumbbells for Arnold press and let's get into it. So bringing the arms up and let's begin. Exhale as you press up, take your time. When you're working with heavy dumbbells, you really have to take your time through each rep. So you don't have to be going at my pace right now. You can be going a little bit faster, a little bit slower, as long as the weight you picked is heavy enough. Oh, almost there, almost that break time. So this is where it gets really challenging. Last three, two, oh, one, nice. So if you can go up and wait, make sure to do that now. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna try. May only get one set in like this, but. All right, let's get ready to go. We've got five seconds, so bring it up. And let's begin in three, two, and one. Here we go. We've been in two places all at once. Nice. So right around this point in time is where it is very challenging to get that weight. That's how you're gonna know you went heavy enough. If you can't get through the set, you may have gone too heavy. We've got three, two, and one, nice job, one more set like that. Now, if you could have kept going when that time was up, then you may wanna consider going a little bit heavier. We're working hypertrophy training today, which means we do have to work heavy. We also have the three sets, so we're really gonna challenge the muscles today. Last time for this. So grab your dumbbells, we've got three seconds. Here's two, 
and let's begin. Last set. Almost there, over halfway. We're gonna move on to our next shoulder exercise. Almost, three, two, one. You made it. We're moving into an L raise, which means we're gonna have a front and a lateral raise, one arm and then the other. So we'll alternate sides with that front and side lift. So grab your dumbbells and let's get ready to go. Here it is in three, two, and let's go. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Oh my. Couple more reps. This is when it should be getting really challenging. Here we are for three, two, and one. 20 seconds to rest. Breathe it out, shake it out. This is one of those exercises that I need the in-between weight. I have 10 and I have 15. I need 12.5. We've got to go in three seconds. And here we go, I'll raise again. Although we did have an awesome recommendation from Laura, who is in our community, who said ankle weights or wrist, wrist weights make the perfect addition if you need to go up just a little bit, but you can't quite jump up for the next dumbbell set you have. So if you do have ankle or wrist straps that you wanna add on to help you up that weight, that is a great addition to have. Ooh, almost there. Counting it out, here's three, two, one. Nice, one more set. One more set to go. Bumping it up from two to three sets, my oh my. So good for the muscles, so good to help build that shape. Five seconds. Let's grab it and let's begin, here it is. So when you're lifting, you want to think about bringing your arms parallel to the floor. So you don't want to lift them up too high, stopping them just about parallel and control back down. One more shoulder round after this. Almost there, here's three, two, and a one. Nice job, now we are just finishing out with a shoulder press. Three sets of that, grab your dumbbells for shoulder press, start heavy, and if you need to go down, you can even do that even within the first couple reps of that set. So bring it up, we go in five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's begin shoulder press. Don't shrug your shoulders up as you do this press. So just keep that upper body relaxed. Keeping those wrists straight. Oh my, almost there. Ooh, ha ha ha. This is called hitting failure. That is called hitting failure when you are like, uh, nope, not happening. So that is an indication that I need to move down in weight. Do not let failure in, well, in any aspect of life really, but in weight training, scare you or get you discouraged because that's a good thing. You're getting stronger and that's something to work for for your next set or your next exercise round. 
workout. Workout, that sore throat. So let's get ready. Shoulder press again. Here we go in three, two, and let's go. Good. Ooh. One more set after this. <gasps> These right here are the last few seconds where it gets tough. We've got three seconds, two, and one. Nice. Oh, shake it out, rest it out. Rest is going by quick. We go again, last set for shoulders. Then we move on to biceps. So five seconds and we go. All right, here we go in three, in two, let's go. Over halfway, keep it strong. Here it is, last three, two, one. Good, next exercise. Something pretty challenging. You may need to go down a little bit compared to when you do regular bicep curls. We're gonna do wall curls first. So bring yourself, find a wall, you wanna keep those arms right next to the wall. Feet can be out a little bit from the wall, but keep those arms nice and close to your body and the wall, and here we go. Curl. So you wanna think about keeping those elbows. Now, you're, as you curl up, you wanna feel your arms on the wall. As you come down, the arms are gonna come away from the wall just a little bit, but this is just to help us not move anything but that bicep muscle and get that work in. Good. So as you start curling, that arm comes up against the wall and squeeze. Almost there. And one, good. So with that wall curl, you might find that you're not bringing the arms all the way up either because that's gonna help, or that's gonna pull your arm away. So right now we're keeping it close, so you may even stop really contract that muscle and you might have five six inches from your shoulder where you stop from your hand so let's get ready to go again in three two and one here we go so curl squeeze Good, really contract that muscle. Three, two, one, good. Ooh, shake it out. Do you feel the isolation we get in that bicep with that? So what that does when you're keeping that arm pressed up and you're curling, it's taking anything out from the shoulders that we might get from a lift as we try to curl the weight up. So it completely prevents you from using the shoulders to help you get that up. Last set for this one, bring it back. Here we go in three, two, and one. All right, moving on to hammer curls now. So we're gonna switch it up away from the wall. Palms are gonna be facing each other and we are gonna lift and lower. We've got 10 seconds. Oh, it's a beautiful 10 seconds too. Let's get the dumbbells. Let's get ready. Here we go. Let's curl. So 
you can think of that same form where you want to keep your arms nice and close. Don't lift forward here with the, with the elbows. Keep it nice and close and then back down. Take your time at the top, really squeeze, contract that bicep muscle, exhale, and then control down. Almost there. Here's three, two, you got it. Woo. We gotta go again. Two more sets of that. Oh, halfway through, well, almost halfway through our bicep round. We gotta go again. Grab your dumbbells. If you find you need a longer recovery, pause and get right back into it. Let's get ready and let's go. Here we go. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. and squeeze over halfway so you know you went heavy enough if right about now these last couple of reps are tough like you have to focus everything you've got you've got to squeeze you've got to breathe to get it up and that was it nice job one more set like that all right 10 seconds let's get it and let's get ready Five seconds, and hammer curls. Last set. <sighs> Halfway. Check your posture right now. Make sure that your shoulders aren't rolling forward. Make sure you're not bringing your shoulders up towards your ears. Keep that upper body relaxed. Just the elbow bends. Here's three, two, one. Nice. Oh. Just have a little feel of the biceps right now because I bet you your biceps are warm from pumping them up right now. We're going into a bicep curl, but we're gonna hold at the top. We're gonna take it down nice and slow, alternating sides. So get your dumbbells, start at the top, and we're gonna alternate lower. Here we go. Again, keep those arms close. Don't raise up here at the shoulders. That arm that's holding at the top, think about squeezing the bicep while it's up there. Just get that little isometric hold going on at the top as you squeeze. Almost there. And we've got three, two, one. Two sets left for the bicep round. And then we get to move on to triceps and finish out with abs almost halfway through this workout already. And can you just feel the gains you are making right now? Oh my God, it is awesome. We're getting ready to go again. Three seconds, bring it up, start at the top, alternating, here we go. Remember that arm that's up, up at the top, squeeze that bicep. Exhale as you pull that weight up. Almost there. We've got three, two, and one. Nice. Rest it out 20 seconds. One more set, and then we're moving on triceps round. Grab your dumbbells, five seconds we go. Start at the top, last set, here we go. Oh. 
All the way down, squeeze. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice, tricep overhead extension. You can use one or two dumbbells with this. I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna, the arms are already shaky. I'm gonna try to start a little bit lighter than I usually do, but I'm gonna try to bump it up. We'll see. Three seconds we go, and one, let's go. Oh yeah, I can go up. Hey, if you notice from the very first rep that you can move up, move up in the weight. It's I, I would rather take a few seconds to switch weights than miss out an entire set where I knew I could have gone heavier. So just take a few seconds, switch it up, and then get right back into it. But the awesome thing about YouTube is you can rewind too and just start from the beginning and be like, never mind, I'm gonna just back it up 10 seconds and start from the very beginning. Almost there, here's three, two, and one, nice. Oh, one more set, or no, I'm sorry, two more sets. Golly, <laughs> I'm, I'm rushing us, I don't mean to rush us. We gotta work the back just like we did the front. We've got three seconds, so bring it up, and let's go set number two. Exhale when you press up. Ooh, over halfway, you've got it. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Good, Ooh, 20 seconds. Last set for tricep overhead extension. Breathing, 10 seconds. All right, let's get ready. And up, we go in three. Here's two, and one. You're perfect just like you are. Release your control, start to let go. Take a night off and let yourself go a little crazy. Crazy. Crook, 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 crazy. Release your control, let your body go a little crazy. Just crazy. Over halfway. Burning. It's burning in the best way. <laughs> Good. This is three, two, one. Nice. Now we are going to do a single arm tricep kickback. So if you need a little extra support, you can always use a chair and hinge down on that. So hinging at the hips and kicking back. However, you can use your leg as support as well. So bring it down, bring the arm up, and let's begin. So now we really get to focus on one side, keeping that arm close to your body. So as you come down with the weight, you don't want your arm to drop down. So keep everything up. The only thing that's moving here is that elbow joint. So bending, then extending all the way. Good, here's three, two, and one. The resets like that. That was set one. Two more sets, and then we're just gonna switch it up. Ooh. All right, let's get ready to go again. Five seconds, so bring it down. Bring that arm up, and let's begin.
Exhale as you extend that arm. Almost there, and one. Ooh, one more set now. This is getting tough. Oh my goodness. All right, last set, five seconds, so grab it. Let's get into position. Remember, last time for this side. So let's make it count. Here we go. Now, as that muscle starts to get tired, make sure you're not swinging to get the weight up. You still wanna control it up. So if you need to adjust the weight, make sure to do that. Form is always more important than trying to go heavy and swinging or losing form to get the weight up. There's three, two, and one, good. Three sets on the other side. You know exactly what to expect now. Now with, their, with working one side and then the other, I will kind of challenge you to stick with the same weight. So try not to go up or down from what you just used for that other side, just to try to keep things even. Ooh, so let's switch it up, bring it down, arm is up, and let's begin. Almost there. Couple more reps. This is three, two, and one. Oh, good. Two more sets. Abs is next after this. So two more sets, then we switch it up to abs. Now abs that we're gonna work, we're gonna have two sets with three exercises. So that structure is just a little bit different for abs. Let's bring it down. We've got three, two, and here we go. Oh my goodness, over halfway. Here we are in three, two, one. One more set. Final set to finish out working that upper body. Arms are feeling good. 10 seconds and we go. Last time through, let's get ready. Bring it up. We're going in three, here's two, and one. I'm almost there. And last one. Nice. Next, we're going into a si standing side to side crunch. So you can add dumbbells if you want. Those dumbbells are going to be up overhead. And as we pull that knee up, we're going to bring the elbow to meet. So if you'd like to use your dumbbells, grab two dumbbells for this one. We're going to start with the arms up and then we're going to pull. Here we go. So take your time. Exhale as you crunch. Way. 
working the balance on this one as well. So the core is really coming into play and then the obliques as well. Plus a little bit of shoulder work here again as we hold the arms up overhead. Now remember abs, only two sets. And all of our ab exercises can be done with or without weight. Last one, two sets, one in, one to go. Breathing, 10 seconds and we go. So let's bring it up, we've got five seconds. So arms are back up and let's begin. Bring that knee in and crunch. Couple more reps. Here we are, here's three, two, and one. Now we're only gonna use one dumbbell if you'd like to use dumbbells. We're gonna go into a sumo stance with a side to side crunch again. So still working the core again, we're working the obliques, shoulders rolled down and back, going in five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. So side to side bend here. So just dropping that elbow down towards the inner thigh, exhaling as you crunch. Ooh. I like the two sets. Abs would be, oh my. I don't know if I'd get through the three exercises. This is, but I told you, we are defining, strengthening the arms and abs. Here's three, two, and one. One more set like that. Bring it up for just a second. I'm going by quick. One more set and then one more ab workout after, one more ab exercise after this. Three seconds, so let's bring it down. Back in sumo squat, holding onto that dumbbell if you're using that, and let's crunch. Remember, blow that air out as you crunch, you're exhaling. Almost there. And last one. Oh, nice. Now we're going into the pal off press. So we are gonna need just one dumbbell for this. As you do that, you wanna think about keeping those arms parallel. Don't let them fall down. Don't let them lift up. I'm gonna start with this. Again, we have two sets, so clasping those fingertips around. And let's begin. So squeeze that core. Good. So keep those arms going straight out in front. Ten seconds, and then one exercise after, or one set after this. And three, two, one. Nice job. Rest it out. 15 seconds left in our rest. And then we've got our final set. Wow. Arms are going to be feeling good after this. Last set. Let's get ready. And here we go. Yes, 
Yes, almost halfway. Remember, keep those arms just about parallel to the floor. Don't let them fall down. Here it is, last three, two, and one. You did it. That was all about the shoulders, arms, and abs. You've completed it. You are absolutely amazing, and you are stronger because of it. So way to go pressing play. Way to go going heavy for that workout. Don't forget to get a stretch. I'll be waiting for you over at the stretch. I'll see you there, and I love ya.